The strange thing about Kingdom Come Deliverance is a question I've been contemplating ever since it was announced. Who is this game for? Imagine if you had a Skyrim, but you took out all the monsters, took out all the magic, shrunk the map, ditched character creation, overcomplicated the mechanics, and went OCD on the realism of 15th century Bohemia. That's Kingdom Come Deliverance. And after playing this game way longer than I imagined, I have conflicting opinions on it. The sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. To the castle. Hurry. What? On the surface, this game shouldn't work. It starts out with your character, Henry, fleeing his hometown after a brutal raid that leaves everyone he knew well dead. Things somehow get worse from there as he goes back to bury his parents and ends up getting his cool sword stolen by bandits who leave him for dead. See a pattern? Henry wakes up a couple weeks later in debt to his temporary caretaker and must now piece his life back together. Through the course of the game, you get a stark sense of historical accuracy, as the developer's war horse intended during its long production cycle. That leads to another great question. Why would anyone want to live here? I mean, you sleep on hay and twigs. Food spoils as fast as you can obtain it. You get arrested if you don't use a torch at night. There is an actual job where you spend all day carrying literal crap up and down a hill. Hey, you, uh, lost your pitchfork? Looks like you might have, uh, lost your pitchfork. Don't let that stop you, though. This game revels in its monotony and complexity. Like, you know how alchemy works in Witcher and Skyrim, right? Get ingredients, find place to make potions, tell game to make potions. Simple, effective, quick. You know how alchemy works in Kingdom Come? Find ingredients, get potion recipe, find alchemy table, look up recipe, place ingredients on alchemy table, pour correct liquid into the pot, place first ingredient in the pot, start the bellows, start the sand timer, grind next ingredient with mortar and pestle, place next ingredient in the pot, start bellows again, start timer again, grab a vial, wait for liquid to cool, place in vial, and then start all over again as you failed to heat the second ingredient for two turns instead of one. Fun, right? And... Oh, well, I should get a medal for that. Kingdom Come does that with so many of its mechanical systems. Lockpicking, pickpocketing, even the saving system, where you need to sleep in an owned bed or drink a vial of savior schnapps, or no save for you. Oh, ma'am, did the mob get to you? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to do. The biggest place where this becomes cumbersome is the combat. If you're familiar with combat in other RPGs, prepare to get frustrated. I'm losing to an unarmed peasant. How is this possible? Henry, you're a terrible knight. I'm just gonna say it right now. The swordplay is definitely geared to a one-on-one -on -one battle, where you choose the direction of your attack, time your blocks, dodge and parry. The problem is, you get into fights with multiple opponents on a near constant basis, and the targeting system locks you to one person at a time while ignoring everyone else. All right, this is just the definition of a fluster cluck. I have no idea what's going on. Just swing your sword in random directions and hope you hit the enemy. I think that's pretty much all I can do at this point. Oh, okay, I'm dead now. You might try your hand at archery, but good luck, as aiming is a nightmare. No targeting reticle, because realism, and nothing equating to sights, means you're just taking a random shot in the dark, sometimes literally. While you do that, your bow sways with your movement and takes a crazy long time to reset. Alright, let's see if I can hit something the size of a Volkswagen. Okay. No. Yeah, just meander along. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to shoot you with arrows. Uh, alright, maybe down a little bit. Like, right... Okay, nope, nope, didn't compensate there. <sighs> yep. Great. While you're playing around with all of that, get ready to constantly repair your weapons and armor, clean your clothes to keep your charisma up, Avoid walking into restricted areas lest the locals call the guards on you, endure random searches, and avoid hunger, hangovers, injuries, and bleeding as the game packs in so many unnecessary mechanics into your play experience for the sake of realism. 
Oh, while you're at it, enjoy a sadly realistic version of countdown timers. This isn't Fallout where you tell the game to wait three hours and it just does that instantly. No, you gotta watch the countdown clock to give you a sense of time passing, and then it goes super slow in the last hour because, remember, the waiting is the hardest part. Yes, they have fast travel points, but you don't just go there. You need to watch your little avatar travel along the roads from one town to another, and again, it's stupid slow. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. You having fun yet? So while everything up to this point may make you think you should avoid Kingdom Come Deliverance like the plague that I'm sure many of the characters have in game, there is something else to consider. I just kept playing the game. I mean, there's something strangely engaging about it, and I think I know why. The complexity of the game and frustration therein got me thinking of new ways to approach situations. Combat is really hard, so I started sneaking up to bandits, choking them out and stealing their stuff. It, uh, it works for villagers, too. Um, don't worry, they're gonna wake up the next morning and forget I was even here because they didn't see me. <laughs> I'd try to separate enemies from the group or get one to start bleeding and then move away until they died. When I couldn't stealth my way past guards, I lured them away and took them out while no one was watching. You get encumbered super fast, so I got the cheapest horse I could buy, popped a saddlebag on it, and bam, instant storage upgrade. Ow. Can't unlock a chest? Try stealing the keys off a sleeping shopkeep. They won't notice. You have to get creative, and sometimes fight dirty, to make it in this world. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. If you ever need to buy a horse, come and see us. Excellent. I'll give you a nice discount. Ha <laughs> ha. Reward for my hard work. All right, maybe I could get some training. I'd like you to show. Are you serious? You want me to teach you after what you did here? Well, you just run hot and cold, don't you? Sure, it's probably not the way the designers wanted me to play. Why create a complex combat system if people are going to try to avoid it? But finding ways to game the game was actually the most enjoyable part of the experience. It also has its fair share of ridiculously endearing moments. I loved my trainer that apparently time traveled from modern day America. But don't get cocky. Okay, Han. You have to train hard and persistently. Yeah. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Yeah. Practice. Give it all you got, Rock. Getting drunk with a man of the cloth and doing his sermon while he nursed a hangover was awfully amusing. The lad spoke well. I spit in your face. There was also this really timid knight that was trying to challenge me to a duel. My mother set me out to get some experience. <laughs> She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous knights. In short, she oh, soon Mama's knight. for some virgin to say and to win glory in combat. So you're basically Buster from Arrested Development. And you can just take hours on end picking poppies from a field. I find that adorable. You can play Farkle in this game. That's great. They had Farkle in the 15th century? Apparently they did. So this game has its merits. The boring and complicated parts drag down a game that might have benefited from a less obsessive recreation of knighthood in the 15th century. I give Kingdom Come Deliverance 3 out of 10 Skyrims, 3 out of 10 Witcher 3s, 4 out of 10 Game of Thrones, 7 out of 10 Renaissance Fairs, and finally, 9 out of 10 Encyclopedia Britannicas. Yeah, still, still going. Gonna get there one day. Your favorite, Save your schnapps. Really? <sighs> Bianca gave me Save Your Schnapps. She <laughs> is the love of my life. You bet I will. Well, Bianca's dead. Uh... Well, that stinks. You know what, I better get that ring. Oh, and more Savior Schnapps! Alright, great. Uh, I will, uh, I'll, I'll treasure this ring forever. I've brought you something. Let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, I got this ring. Oh, hell. Is this for me? Yeah, it was always for you. cost you a fortune. Sure did. But I like it very much, thank you. You're, you're welcome. You really mustn't bring me any gifts like that I, you'll spoil me. I literally can't that was the the only one I had like that uh, well you know life moves on 